As expected, by the end of February 2024, Microsoft Today officially rolled out the Moment 5 update for Windows 11. This is an optional update brings a slew of new features, changes, and improvements to the operating system. You can open settings navigate Windows update then check for updates, if you see new preview update available, allow them download install. Ensure get the latest updates as soon as they're available toggle enabled under more options to receive the new Windows 11 Moment 5 update features released today. Otherwise it will bring latest bug fixes only. The update download and installation takes some time depending on internet speed and hardware configuration. While this is an optional update enable early access to test new accessibility, Microsoft Copilot, and AI features before they roll out to everyone as part of the March Patch Tuesday update. In addition to Moment 5 features today's update also addresses an issue that affects long-edge fed printers, Windows settings home page randomly stops responding, bug stops a system from going to sleep and more. If you skip today's update, all the feature and changes automatically enabled on March 2024 security update. Once the update download and installation completes, restart your computer to apply changes. Again it may take up to 5 to 10 minutes to complete the process, be patient. When everything done, you can run Winver command to check the latest Windows 11 OS build number. Now talking about Windows 11 Moment 5 features and changes, after install today's update you will notice Copilot shortcut in the taskbar move to the right side of the system tray. As a result of this change, the system will now disable the Show Desktop feature by default. But you can restore this configuration from Settings Personalization Taskbar, and under the Taskbar Behaviors setting, check the Select the Far Corner to the Taskbar to show the Desktop option. If you are looking for completely remove the copilot from taskbar, you need to toggle it off under taskbar items. Also you can visit Microsoft official support site to get the latest changes and bug fixes of today's update. Well the phone link settings page is now named mobile devices and can be found in settings Bluetooth and devices mobile devices. Again you can now edit recent photos and screenshots from your Android device using the snipping tool on your PC. To enable this, go to Settings Bluetooth and Devices Mobile Devices, choose Manage Devices, and grant access to your Android device. Also Windows 11 now supports the USB 80 gigabits per second standard, the next generation of USB 4 with double the bandwidth of USB 40 gigabits per second. Ensure you have a compatible PC and USB 4 or Thunderbolt peripheral to use this feature. Games installed on a secondary drive will remain there after this update. The update addresses an issue with long-edge fed printers where stapling or hole punch locations were misaligned. Today's update resolves an issue where the Windows settings home page randomly stops responding. This update fixes a problem where a device fails to automatically switch from cellular to Wi-Fi when Wi-Fi is available. Addresses a situation where connecting an external device prevents the system from going to sleep. The Windows Backup app will no longer display on the user interface in regions where it is not supported. It also resolves problems with Notepad failing to open for standard user accounts, difficulties opening 8-zip archives, and issues with crash on audit fail registry value, allowing standard users to sign in. Additionally, it addresses random restarts of Azure Virtual Desktop virtual machines, stop errors on remote desktop session hosts, and incorrect UI in Microsoft Edge for Internet Options data settings. Furthermore, it fixes issues with eSIM profiles, remote desktop web authentication, troubleshooting processes, and the certificate authority SnapIn's inability to select the Delta CRL option. Also Microsoft noted one known issue, where some Windows 11 devices experiencing installation failures for the February 2024 security update may encounter system freezes at 96%. This issue triggers a message indicating changes are being undone and may display error code 0x800F0922 in the Windows Event Viewer. Deleting the hidden folder C $WinRE agent and restarting the system can prevent this issue, allowing successful installation of the update.